Welcome back. In this teaching video, I'm looking at 9.3 areas of triangles. 9.3 represents chapter 9, section 3 of the Pearson A Level Maths, Pure Maths Year 1 textbook. Let's have a look at the key facts of this section. Consider the following triangle. The angles are labelled using capital letters. So over here, we've got capital letter A. This angle over here is capital A. Opposite the angle is the side which is labelled using lowercase letter. So we've got lowercase a. In the same way, we've got capital B, lowercase b, capital C, lowercase c. Now, to work out the area of triangle ABC, we apply the formula area equal a half AB sine C. This is the key fact of 9.3 areas of triangles. I'll be implementing this key fact within this exam style question. Let's have a look at the solution to this exam style question. Nice. Okay, so we know that the area A is equal to... 5 centimeter squared. Now to work out the area A, we have to apply the formula a half AB sine C. So A and B is basically the two sides that create the angle 150 degrees. So the A we can take it to be X and the B we can take it to be X plus 2 or vice versa. So we've got a half multiplied by X multiplied by X plus 2 sine of 150 degrees. This must equal to 5. Now, sine 150 degrees is a half. A half multiplied by a half is just a quarter. So we have a quarter, x multiplied by x plus 2 is equal to 5. Nice. Now, we can take the 4 and we can multiply it by the 5. So we have x in bracket, x plus 2 is equal to 20. Expand the brackets. This gives us x squared plus 2x equal to 20. We have created a quadratic equation, solid. Now we can take the 20 to the left hand side. This gives us x squared plus 2x minus 20 is equal to 0. We can solve this particular quadratic equation using the quadratic formula. So x is given by minus b plus or minus square root b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. So in this quadratic equation, a is the coefficient of x squared, which is 1. B is the coefficient of x, which is 2. And C is the constant term, which is minus 20. So if I plug this into the quadratic formula, I'll get the solutions. So the two solutions are 3.58 to 3 significant figures and minus 5.58 to three significant figures. But ladies and gents, we know that x represents a length and a length cannot be negative. So we have to reject this solution and we have to accept this particular solution. Therefore, the value of x to three significant figures is 3.58. So we have 3.58 to three significant figures. Solid. This completes the exam style question in this teaching video, 9.3 areas of triangles. If you found this teaching video useful, please don't forget to subscribe, leave a like, leave a comment, turn on your notification bell so that you receive notifications every time I post a new teaching video.